Today we are going to read chapter 4 in in Srimad Bhagavatam 10th Canto. The name of this chapter is The Atrocities of King Kamsa. <laughs> This chapter describes how Kamsa following the advice of his demoniac friends advises need to one thing share over here on the contrary of advises here because Kamsa is with demonic attitude so it has been um, glorified here that about him that he his friends are also demoniac demoniac Demon is an ideology. It's an ideology. So when your ideology is demonic, then definitely your friends are also with the same ideology. And more or less, your association is also like that. That's why in our Vaishnava tradition, it is said that Sajati Sangha. Why? Because there is always a danger. If you are even a little bit out of your track, How comes up following the advice of his demoniac friends considered the persecution of small children to be very diplomatic? After Vasudeva bound himself with iron shackles as before all the doors of the prison house closed by the influence of yoga maya who then began crying as a newborn child. <coughs> this crying awakened the doorkeepers and they immediately informed Kamsa appeared with great force in the maternity room and in spite of Devaki's plea that the child be saved, the demon forcibly snatched the child from Devaki's hands and dashed the child again against a rock. Unfortunately for Kamsa, however, the newborn child slipped away from his hands, rose above his head and appeared as the eight-armed form of Durga. Mm -hmm. 
here i would like to share whatever is coming in my mind that when kamsa was about to dash the child against a rock it is said that the newborn child slipped away from his hands how possible because he killed many why they specially have happened here and the child was a girl child so it's, it seems it uh, a sign that uh, this girl child was yoga maya in the form of durga so the word maya illusion doesn't matter you are demonic demoniac powerful everything is favorable but if maya wants then favorable chance also can slip out of your hand we can understand by this how much a maya can be powerful beyond our imagination and then this eight arm formed durga said told kamsa and she also appeared in the eight armed and it is also said that the eighth child of devaki will be your call will be cause of your death so the appearance of durga was very clearly proven that definitely the time of kamsa is very near nobody can save him durga said the enemy you contemplate has taken birth somewhere else therefore your plan to persecute all the children will prove futile according to the prophecy the eighth child of devaki would kill kamsa and therefore when kamsa saw that the eighth child was a female and heard that his so called enemy had taken birth elsewhere he was struck with wonder he decided to release devaki and vasudeva and he admitted before them the wrongness of his atrocities i don't know that why kamsa is even being so cruel he was ready to accept that whatever he did he was that was wrong falling at the feet of the devaki and vasudeva he begged their pardon and tried to convince them 
that because the events that had taken place were destined to happen they should not be unhappy for his having killed so many of their children <laughs> Devaki and Vasudeva being naturally very pious immediately excused Kamsa for his atrocities and Kamsa after seeing that his sister and brother-in-law were happy returned to his home after the night passed however kamsa called for his ministers and informed them of all that had happened Now, it's a new character of Kamsa, is, we can see that even after knowing that someone who already took birth, that who will kill him, release Devaki and Vasudev very easily. So, this is thinkable that what Kamsa actually thinking. And after returning home, he called his all friends or ministers and told them whatever happened. And that all ministers, those who were demons, advised him that his enemy had already taken birth somewhere else. All the children born within the past 10 days in the villages within Kamsa's kingdom should be killed. person demon, ministers and friends are also demon and what type of advice we can see. Within Kamsa's kingdom, sorry, although the demigods always feared Kamsa, they should not be treated leniently since they were enemies Kamsa should try his best to uproot their existence the demoniac ministers further advised that Kamsa and the demons continue their enmity toward Vishnu because Vishnu is the original person among all the demigods. So here the same like all the time Vishnu is considered here original person and is the head head of all demigods the, Bra the brahmanas the cows 
द वेदास ऑस्ट्रिटी ट्रूथफुलनेस कंट्रोल ऑफ द सेंसेस एंड माइंड फेथफुलनेस एंड मर्सी आर अमंग द डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ विष्णु that's why the path of our bhakti vaishnavism becomes very very significant because the characteristics of this uh, tradition as is it said over here are totally based on all these things brahmanas cause vedas austerity truthfulness control of the senses and mind faithfulness and mercy all these principles are the pillars of vaishnava tradition so in the absence of any one among them the tradition is not complete and all these things these the vaishnavas those who are beginners these are the basics i would like to say whatever these principles are there these are the basics of vaishnava traditions including lord brahma and lord shiva therefore the ministers advised the demigods the saintly persons the cows and the brahmanas should be systematically persecuted is strongly advised in this way by his friends the demoniac ministers kamsa approved of their instructions and considered it beneficial to be envious of the brahmanas following kamsa's orders therefore the demons began committing their atrocities all over rajabhumi text 1 श्रीशुकवाच बहिंतुरद्वार सर्वा पूर्वदृता तथो बालध्वनि श्रुवा गृहपाला सुत्थिता सुखदेव गोस्वामी कंटिन्ूड माई डियर किंग परीक्षित द डोर्स inside and outside the house closed as before therefore the inhabitants of the house especially the watchmen heard the crying of the newborn child and thus awakened from their beds is proper proper the activities of yoga maya are distinctly visible in this chapter in which devaki 
एंड वासुदेवा एक्सक्यूज कंसा फॉर हिज मैनी डेवियस एट्रोसियस एक्टिविटीज एंड कंसा बिकम्स रिपेंटेंट एंड फॉल्स एट देयर फीट before the awakening of the watchmen and the others in the prison in the prison house many other things happened krishna was born and transferred to the home of yashoda in gokula the strong doors opened and again closed and vasudeva resumed his former condition of being shackled the watchman however could not understand all this the awaken only when they heard the crying of the newborn child yoga mayas yoga mayas tarah se kehne ko sunne se mauke ke nikalte the shrila vishwanath chakravarti thakura has remarked that the watchmen were just like dogs at night the dogs in the street act like watchmen if one dog barks many other dogs immediately follow it by barking although the street dogs are not appointed by anyone to act as watchmen <laughs> they think they are responsible for protecting the neighborhood and as soon as someone unknown enters it they all begin to bark both yoga maya and mahamaya act in all material activities prakriti hai kriya manani guna hai karmani sarvasa but although the energy of the supreme personality of godhead acts under the supreme lord's direction maya dakshina prakritir suyate sacharacharam dog like watchmen such as politicians and diplomats thinks that they are protecting their neighborhoods from the danger of the outside world these are the actions of maya but one who surrenders to krishna is relieved of the protection afforded by the dogs and dog like guardians of this material world मुपभ्रज्य देवक्या गर्वजन तत्चु आचक्षुर्भोजराजा यदि दुग्न प्रतीक्षत देर आफ्टर ऑल द वॉचमेन very quickly approached king kamsa 
the ruler of the bhoja dynasty and submitted the news of the birth of devaki's child kamsa who had awaited this news very anxiously immediately took action poor part kamsa was very anxiously waiting because of the prophecy that the eighth child of devaki would kill him this time naturally he was awake and waiting and when the watchman approached him he immediately immediately took action to kill the child by the fear of one's life kamsa committed more and more cruelty more and more atrocities just it seems over here that how much he was in the in his senses how much he was attached with his, his this body and these all things were not let him to think about that what he was doing how much it's right or wrong in this hour this uh, limited material world also happens same when our senses senses are on peak we are totally fail to think that whatever we are doing how much it is right or how much it is wrong but we are fortunate in this way that by the mercy of brother rani we are here in braja in vaishnava tradition under the umbrella of our shrila gurudev under the umbre- umbrella of this uh, braja raja definitely we are protected but we have to hold our consciousness very tightly we cannot let it lose sometime it happens that we lose our control on these things no problem we are living in dham radharani is there of course she is there thakur ji is there of course he is there they both are there oh i am also chanting also chanting definitely but you don't know in what way maya can work <laughs> we no need to be fearful even the maya is working <laughs> it is all said here about that it is possible <laughs> it means it's possible so the kamsa his material consciousness was very high and this consciousness was letting him do the cruelty <laughs> one after another We no need to describe that how much it was he was cruel. A small baby shacked on the floor against the floor. Nothing can be more cruel than this. Text 
सतलपात तृण मुथाय कालो इमिति बिहुवल सूती गृह मगा तृणम प्रस्खलन मुक्त मूर्धज Kamsa immediately got up from bed, thinking, "Here is Kala, the supreme time factor, which has taken birth to kill me." Thus overwhelmed, Kamsa. his hair is scattered on his head at once approached the place where the child had been born purport the word kala is significant although the child was born to kill kamsa kamsa thought that this was the proper time to kill the child so that he himself would be saved kala is actually another name of the supreme personality of godhead when he appears only for the purpose of killing it is said here when he appears only for the purpose of killing it means supreme personality of godhead has many different 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 missions so the killing in one not the top most the killing in only small smaller smallest like a small one of them when arjuna inquired from kamsa sorry when arjuna inquired from krishna in his universal form who are you the lord presented himself as kala death personified to kill by nature's law when there is an unwanted increase in population kala appears in the form of tsunami <laughs> earthquakes drought floods epidemic in different different form and by some arrangement of the supreme personality of godhead people are killed wholesale in different ways by war pestilence famine and so on at that time even atheistic political leaders go to a church mosque or temple for protection by god or gods and submissively say god willing it was the desire of god wow before that then pay no attention to god not caring to know 
God or His will. But when Kala appears, they say, God willing. Death is but another feature of the Supreme Kala. The Supreme Personality of Godhead. At the time of death, the atheist must submit to this Supreme Kala. And then the Supreme Personality of Godhead takes away all his positions. Mrityu Sarva Harasham and forces him to accept another body. Tatha Dehantrap this the atheists do not know and if they do, do know they neglect it so that they may go on with their normal life the Krishna consciousness movement is trying to teach them that although for a few years one may act as a great protector or great watchman with the appearance of Kala, death, one must take another body by the laws of nature. Not knowing this, they unnecessarily waste their time in their occupation as watchdogs and do not try to get the mercy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So we can say there was one Kamsa but the time right now is going on in this Kali Yuga. There are many Kamsa. Not knowing this, <laughs> they unnecessarily waste their time in their occupation as watchdogs and do not try to get the mercy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. As it, as it is clearly said a prapya maam nivartante mrityu samsara vartmani without krishna consciousness one is condemned to continue wandering in birth and death the same thing in our siddha pranali is also there <laughs> The Sarup, who we are, what is given by our Gurus, it is the same situation like this. What does it mean? Could you explain about this point? No? Hmm? No, what do you say now? 
एज इट इज क्लियरली सेड अप्राप्य माम निवर्तनते मृत्यु संसार वर्तमनी विदाउट कृष्णा कॉन्सियसनेस वन इज कंडेम्ड टू कंटिन्यू वॉन्डरिंग इन बर्थ एंड डेथ I cannot understand how to connect to this Prabhupada's comment and what you said the Sita Purana. <laughs> yeah, we don't know our Swarup actually. Yeah, but that's the thing. That's the thing. Our Swarup, I don't know. That's why in Sita Purana, there is a system that those who accept this Purana, who comes in this tradition. He got the Swarup by Guru Dev. Who am I? The, us the Jiva, Jiva no Swarup ka usra na hai mujhe. The Guru Dev kara kono Sita Purana liyo ukele liyo kono system niyo the Jiva no Swarup toh. And once you know your Swarup, you no need to come and go back. You are fixed there as Radha Dasi. So this is the meaning of it here. Koko the Guru Dev kara jiva ke the. So we we don't need to know that what will happen next, coming and going. This uh, transportation will stop. <laughs> yeah, but it's all the matter of how much meditation we are doing. How much we are in practice? How much the same kind minded people we are associated? And the how much this eight things or this nine things of a, on the path of bhakti, like started with shraddha and end with prema and bhava. So all these, under the guidance of our spiritual master, we need to do to break this chain of coming and going. This morning, so we discussed the same issue with Guru Dev. Mira Pakistan Kariya. Ajahn is very important. Guru Dev very stresses. Text four. Dayan stress. Tama Bhratram Devi Kripana Karunam Sati. Snushyam Tav Kalyan Istriyam Mam Hantu Marhasi. Kamsa saying here. Now Devki saying, Devki helplessly, piteously appealed to Kamsa. My dear brother, all good fortune unto you. Don't kill this girl. She will be your daughter-in-law. Indeed, unworthy of you to kill a woman. Poor part. Kamsa had previously excused Devaki because. He thought that a woman should not be killed, especially when pregnant. But now, by the influence of Maya, he was prepared to kill a woman. Not only a woman. But a small, helpless newborn child. Devaki wanted to save her brother from this terrible, sinful act.
So Gurudev said, some problem is there. So that's it for today. Some seva time is there. Thank you very much to listen to me. In Hari, if you want to ask, I don't know if I can say something. Or if it is all very okay for all of you. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. Thank, you. Thank you, Sachi. Beautiful right, uh, reading and interpretation. Thanks a lot. I want to ask you about um, in the first uh, verse, the first uh, purport. Prabhupada's talking about politicians and diplomats. Yeah. Like they're not very nice. <laughs> Can you say what the problem is with politicians and diplomats for Prabhupada? As an Acharya, as a spiritual master at that time, whatever he saw in his time, before going to the West in India, wherever he went, he met the people. And even after going to the abroad, what was the situation at that time when he arrived in America, that those so-called, those who were saying that we are the reformers of the society and the country, when mm -hmm. Prabhupada reached over there, when they see the situation of the hippies people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And after yeah. looking all this, how this person can say that the, everything the politicians mm -hmm. and the diplomats are doing, all the favorable things for these people, those who are misguided completely. Exactly. And when he saw all this situation, for Prabhupada, it was very easy to understand that how type what what the things and diplomats and politicians can do. And even living in this, reading in this Vedic scripture, so many books writing, mm -hmm. after coming on conclusion, he my clearly very understood that these people cannot do the welfare of the society and the country, or even in this of this world. But the situation is more and less same, same everywhere in this world. The politicians and diplomats are as all are as alike. Watchmen. Yeah. Yeah. They think Very nice. they are doing. Very clear. Thank you. Jai Jai Sri Radhe. Thank you very much. Jai Jai Sri Radhe. Dandwat Pranam to all of you. Radhe Radhe. Jai Radhe.